the changes I've seen in the last 30 years is when I started, it was all about being more productive, saving costs. Now there's a huge shift for the last 10 years in reducing carbon emissions. And the great thing is we're getting a lot of support from international bodies, IMO, United Nations, flag states, and, and also governments. To create energy, a nice technology is OTEC, which can be used in any deep water and any warm water. So this is which is around the equator in most places. That's one of them. The other thing is to decrease the amount of, of fuel consumption for ships by using sails, either proper sails like we, we are used to see on vessels, or what we call the turbo sails, which are vertical cylinders with pressure and depressure on the other side. And then, I mean, nothing to do with energy creation, but still with saving environment is, is the use of wastewater gardens. And it's something you can implement in cities. You could even implement it on vessels with, with a bit of extra space. And you would not you have to use as much uh, chemicals, which is fantastic, of course. Now the focus is really on the ESG, because in order to get any funding for projects from banks, from international institutions, on both a national level, but also on a corporate level, you need to prove that you have implemented ESG in your company with the implementation of AI on board ships, partial autonomicity of ships, the requirements for technologically savvy people will increase. So anyone who wants to learn some technology is welcome and will be needed in the maritime world. And I do believe that we'll still need people on board ships, but they might have to be a bit more qualified technically because they'll have to deal with all those like we said, communication, AI, automated systems. But an engine will still be an engine. Even if it, it pollutes less, you'll still have parts that move. Engineers and scientists are optimistic people because they believe they can solve problems. So, first of all, the people in the industry have a drive to change things and to solve problems and to come up with new ideas, which is fantastic. There's a lot of money made available, not by choice, but by decree, by the governments and by the banks in order to, to come up with new things. And, and so, yeah, I'm extremely positive that it is going to create a lot of new technology, new sciences, and, and a lot of people will be positive about it, even the young engineers, because finally they'll do something where they feel, oh, I've, I've made a difference. The world is much more complex and, and resilient, but I like to say if you want to pollute less, which we all want, 70% of the world is made of water. So becoming an engineer or a scientist that deals with the maritime environment, the oceans and the sea, and you do something positive in there, you do something positive for 70% of the planet. Mm -hmm.